Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me, you're amazing. Last week I did a video about how TikTok is likely going to be banned. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen, I hope so. But the predictable fallout is all these family vloggers who are now gonna have to look for a different platform where they can exploit their children. And they do it on multiple platforms anyway, but TikTok seemed to be the easiest one to go viral on and grow a big platform. Like Alicia here from Doherty Dozen, she has grown a big platform. I think she's almost at 6 million on TikTok, and that's not a small feat. Considering if you go to her YouTube channel, she gets ratioed way more than she does on TikTok. And that's just another example of how TikTok's just a scathing, toxic dumpster fire of just toxicity and cancerous materials, okay? Because if you go to if you go to TikTok, you'll see everybody on there getting just just yas queened into oblivion because they're, they TikTok seems to attract those types of people. Right, and you can filter better, I guess, I don't know. But her kids absolutely get bullied over there. But if you go to YouTube, every single video she does now is ratioed and her view counts are in the toilet. But her subs count continues to go up. I don't know why. You can make your own deductions. But Alicia now has to get on a live with her husband, which is like an hour and 10 minutes long or something. So we're gonna scrub through it. And she's got, I hope she talk, I think she does talk about it because I asked some people if it's she does. I think they speak on it a little bit. Um, we're gonna snark on this, obviously. But Alicia now has to port everything she's gonna do over to YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff because YouTube Shorts is probably gonna be the alternative until another app you know, uh, presents itself. Uh, when I post that thing on my community page, there is pretty mixed. There are a lot of people who don't wanna see TikTok go. And I understand that. I, under, I get that there are platforms that do have some good things they do think, but TikTok is so toxic. It is, and, I, and again, the only thing you really have to know about TikTok, regardless of how, the talk, how toxic it is, because every platform that allows child exploitation is toxic. Everybody seems to keep forgetting the, the main basis of why it's being banned. It is literally a Chinese spy app. It is a psyop into, the, into our Western civilization, and it is very highly effective. And it has been for the time it's been on. So everybody continues to like to, to gloss over that for some reason because they can't argue with that. And I've, I've read a lot of comments being like, well, what's the difference between Facebook and Instagram? They all do that too. Sure. And I told you, you sign on the dotted line for that stuff, but they don't sell it to China. You understand? Yes, they're collecting your data inside the U.S. for its own benefit and monetary gain. You sign it, you allow that to happen, but it's not a country that is divided. It's not a country that is trying to take over the world, right? It's inside your own borders. So you're a little bit more safe. Would you not agree? Thanks for agreeing. Appreciate it. Dumbass. You bunch of dumbasses who think that. And it's not you guys. It's generally the haters. We love the haters. Anyway. Let's get to this video about Dr. D. She sits down with Josh for a live that I don't think they've ever done something like this, but this is her way of porting over and trying to, you know, grow the platform on YouTube because I think you I think all these creators see the writings on the wall. I'm sure some have already jumped ship. A lot of people have said in my comments they've already deleted TikTok. They don't want anything to be part of it. I, I was actually surprised how many people didn't actually realize what TikTok was. No, not a lot of people are educated on it, and now everybody's starting to start to wake up and realize. And a lot of military people and people who are in the industry are starting to tell people, hey guys, we've never been allowed to have this. The government's known forever that this was what it was, but now we're just waking up. And when it's a little too late, I think, to be honest with you. But anyway, I digress. Let's see this dumpster fire of a live. And uh, on the Facebook group, somebody said that they were talking, to, that they filter out words like DCP and things like that, and of course she does. She has mods probably in there filtering it. Anybody says the word DCP or D-C-P, whatever, dad challenge, she filters out that stuff. It blocks it. Your mods can say deny the comment. That's how it works. She's not going to talk about me, guys. She's not. She'll go to smaller creators' pages to like leave a comment or something like that, but she'll never address me. She'll just do it by changing things or addressing it on a smaller creator's profile. And that's fine. I don't expect her to. But she's kind of a coward. I'm not going to lie. So anyway, let's get to this. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if we were live during that. Um, you weren't. Anyways. Did I hear a wine bottle just go? Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Welcome to Friday. Let's hear that again. Let's hear that again. Hi. Sorry, I don't know if we were live during that. Um, anyways. That, that's a wine bottle. That's a wine bottle, you guys. Winos. Welcome to Friday Night Live. And they're laughing because they're like, yeah, get that wine, honey. Get it. They're laughing because he's pouring, a, you know, this much wine. 
just like, is this too much? No, it's it's good. Just drink an entire box of wine. Josh's ju juice boxes at school are boxes of wine with a big ass straw in the middle. Sorry about that. Uh, what do you apologize? Sorry about what? That we heard the wine bottle open? Okay. Uh, yeah, anyways, we thought we'd bring back anyways. this old series that we used to do. Oh, you did? I don't even know. Two years ago, Why, maybe? Well, I guess it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Anyways, Josh and I used to go live every Friday night. We Once the kids went to bed, we would go live. Uh, live and just kind of like chit chit. The lady that sent me this, you are my hero. So we used to go live on Friday nights, and we didn't. I was... <laughs> I can't. Every time I put this thing on, I can't. I like, I flush. It's weird. It makes me feel weird, because actually someone wears this, because they don't have a finger, and I'm wearing it too, but they gave me permission. Chat with all of you, answer questions, share stories, share a drink. Um, oh, yeah. I stopped drinking alcohol in November. A lot of you know that. So I am now switched to... Okay. We don't believe you. Sparkling water. I'm having mixed things. But I do think Josh is going to have some sort of drink. So We know. We heard it open, lady. <laughs> Uh, I'm having sparkling water. Get your drink of choice. He just said, I'm having sparkling water, too. We heard you open the wine bottle, dumbass. Come join us. Hello, hello. Yeah, Thank you, Isaiah. We believe that's what's in that can. Don't believe that. We believe it's not that. Hi, Terry. Hi, Hi Terry. Philippines, New Zealand. Awesome, awesome. Happy Friday. I mean, I suppose I can go on the YouTube channel and read the comments as they do this. I suppose I could have done that, but I don't want to give them the view. But I'm sure there was some stuff that were deleted pretty quick, not gonna lie. But you'd have to watch it live and screen record the comments live so that if someone says something, you see how quickly it gets deleted, otherwise you're not going to see it. It's just, they've curated the comments, there's no reason watching. Um, Indiana. We are in New York, United States. New York. Don't sing. How dare you sing? You know the rules. You nana, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I told my wife the other day, uh, I was reading the Facebook group, um, it's called uh, Exposing Alicia Lusha Doherty Spinoff page, and how some people, like, just love, for some reason, Nana, you son of a bitch became, like, the moniker for the Doherty Dozen channel, and I, it just, I'm glad that it took off, but my wife even laughs, because my, my wife didn't know, I was like, I was just in the bathroom shaving or something, and I was like, Nana, you son of a my wife's laughing her ass off. Um, my wife, because my wife doesn't laugh at all my jokes because she's heard them all, but I could still make my wife laugh once in a while. So that's good. Keep that alive, you know what I'm saying? If you want someone to love you, make them laugh. I'm telling you, it works. Thank you, Jennifer. Jamie So yeah, every Friday night, again, Josh and I are going to start going live. Yay. Because maybe I should do a Friday Night Live while they do their Friday Night Live and live snark on it. Oh. <gasps> Would that not be fun? What day is it today? It's Monday. Damn it. We're bringing back some old. I'm doing it. And you know what? If I do it, I guarantee you she'll stop that live. You know she will. Oh, man. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Old series. I don't know. Okay, you said it. Let's get to the shit. Open the wine and get going. Everything just kind of happened so fast. I got to be honest with you that we kind of just let go of some of our old series that we miss and we're trying to bring them back. Oh, you're flailing and you think that people are going to want to hear what Josh has to say. And I'm sorry to tell you there, Bon, ap bon Ape Tit, it's not going to work. Hurry up, Josh, you dickhole! Hi, Savannah! Oh, Auntie Lauren's here. I didn't even see you pop on. Hi, Auntie Lauren. Auntie Lauren is my amazing moderator. Auntie Lauren. Ugh, Auntie Lauren. This is the same woman, I think. I've never spoken about Auntie Lauren, not really, who sent her kids a, like, stuffed animal with Auntie Lauren's face on it. First of all, it's creepy to send other people, other children your shit, but with your face on it, that's double creep, okay? And it's from, it's from Australia, okay? They have spiders the size of dinner plates. Don't trust a country or anybody inside of that country that has spiders 
the size of dinner plates or where Hillsong is. Hillsong video coming soon. She might pop on live. I'm sorry for all my Australian fans because you guys are amazing, just saying. Why do you have those spiders? I mean, defund huge spiders. Am I right? Right? If with us, so I don't know. Maybe she'll do that at some point. But right now she's moderating, so thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe she could moderate your thumbs. <laughs> That's coming out the whole time. I'm feeling snarky right now, guys. It's been a while, but I'm feeling snarky. We just got the kids to bed. Yeah. I heard him talking to kids. Matt and Papa were here all day. Nana, you son of a bitch! Papa's got his hearing aid. I left it at home. I left it at home. So don't talk to me. I can't hear anything you guys are saying. He leaves that shit at home on purpose. Um, Holy. Yeah. Just left. It was Nana's birthday yesterday. Who cares? But, oh, speaking of that, we took Nana to get her nails done, and she'd never gotten her nails done before, ever. So that was exciting. No, it wasn't. Uh, took her for her very first manicure, and Nana and I got matching nails. Stop showing your hands. You wonder why you're losing views? That's why. Of all the things advice she's taken from drinking water to doing to stop drinking alcohol... And all that stuff to stop sharing your kid's diagnosis. Congratulations on that stuff, Alicia. I will give you that. But you just got to stop the other thing. I mean, you want to see your view counts come back up? Just take my advice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Post a picture. And, uh, yeah. Ew. This guy. Took her for her first manicure for her birthday okay. yesterday, but we celebrated it today because she had plans yesterday. Hi, Ava. And I know it goes fast. <laughs> so yeah, we. What did we do? I don't know. Yeah, we did a dance challenge. We just posted. Chialianja. That. Chialianja. We yeah. He started coaching indoor track this week, so Josh, Alex, and Deshaun are gone until. What's wrong? Um, I'm trying to. Let's delete a comment. Slow the comments down. Can you do it? Not on a phone, you can't. Lauren says I can, then that it's means like it can be fast. done. Not on your phone. You have to do it on a browser. I'm like trying to say hi. Get, 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 get. If you don't know how to use the shit, stop using the shit. I'm from New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get, 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 get. Hey. Hi, Billy. I'm sorry. We hi. don't really go live on YouTube all that often. I usually repost lives, so we're still uh Still yeah. figuring it out. Still figuring out the live platform over here. I see a few people from Ukraine. Shout out to you. Awesome. Hard time. You're in a war-torn country, and you're going to go on a live with Doherty Dustin? Okay. I'm sure y'all. We, we, we appreciate you. Yeah, we've been thinking. Do you appreciate look. Ukraine? Okay. Guys. Yeah. Um, salty or savory for the rest of my life? Oh, my gosh. I would pick chocolate. I could eat chocolate for the I rest of my salt. life. You would? Oh, yeah, if you mm -hmm. must bad for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, you would go salty, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we took Nana to get her nails done. Yes, you said that! And, oh, we did make your own pizza night. I did take a couple videos of that. I didn't really vlog it. I just kind of got some snippets of videos. So I've noticed, too, every time she makes food in any of her vlogs, and a lot of people have said this as well, she never shows them eating it, but she shows them eating dessert. Interesting. Yeah, have you seen the shit she cooks? Oh, my gosh. Ew. Something in stories, I don't know. All right, um, homeschool mom, sorry to interrupt you, but homeschool <laughs> mom from Kentucky. Ooh! We would love to move there. Yeah, Tell we have why. been toying with, should yes. we move to Kentucky? Like, we did, we started it as like a joke, and then we were like, wait, maybe we Dream, should. Right? Dream. I don't know, it's kind of one of those things, like, should we? Yeah, it'd be super cool. Listen. You guys clearly are shit with money. I know you've made a lot over the past couple of years, and I hope you've saved every penny, which we know you haven't. You spend lavishly. You probably have tons of debt. But no. I, Alicia, I don't think you realize how... When t I don't think... If TikTok goes away, like half of Alicia's fan base goes away, it's not going to just jump up on YouTube. Maybe. Maybe it will a little bit. Maybe she'll pour everybody over. But YouTube doesn't... YouTube is completely different. Alicia can hide over there. It's weird because she can hide on that side because of the weird the way the community is. It's really weird. 
They don't allow people like me on TikTok, right? But you can't hide from me on YouTube, Alicia. And when everybody's following you, when they're done watching your video, my video pops up. Or like an Anora video pops up. Or like an Amy Robinson video pops up, you know? Anybody who talks against you, their videos pop up, snarky bish. Their videos are gonna pop up after. Doesn't happen on TikTok. So good luck. So I don't think you should be moving anywhere. I think you should pay off your home with everything you have now. Maybe put a bunch away for investments if you have anything left, right? Maybe put each of your children through college right now when you have the money. Put it away. In, in Canada, we have what's called an, an RESP, which is Registered Education Savings Account. Something like that, portfolio. And I, once that's in there, that is my children's money. I can't touch it. They can have that until they're dead if they don't go to school. That's their money. You can't touch it. Maybe you should do that now while you have some funds still coming in. But will you? You won't. They're thinking about moving to Kentucky. Probably because I did an interview with Heather from Just the Bells, who is a sweetheart. I actually now a fan, not going to lie. And I want to see her horses because I love horses. Um, maybe she saw that and she's like, maybe she do a farm thing. We have some chickens that we'll kill and stuff. You know, maybe. Maybe, Alicia. Maybe you shouldn't get any animals that you can kill. You can't even take care of children. Okay, how are you going to take care of animals and children? Not going to happen. Should we stay in this house the rest of our lives or should we like take the plunge and go see somewhere else in the country? So, uh, give us I, honestly, though, I would move out of New York, too. It's probably a high tax state. It's got winter. I don't know if Kentucky does, but I wouldn't live in New York either. No, thanks. Super crime. Everything else. Sorry for those who live in New York, but I would do. But can you? What about all the kids and their all their bio parents that you say are part of their lives? I mean, she's allowed to. She is for those kids that she has adopted. She absolutely can go. Those are her children, according to the law. She can go wherever she wants. Okay, but according to but and in, but Nevaeh and Deshaun, they cannot go with her. That's a kinship placement, which I think is going to be done soon. And Alicia, again, I, I said that she responded. She said they can go anywhere else they want. Blah blah blah. But just saying once Deshaun hits a certain age too I think he can choose to stay with her and luckily he will um, but I don't think Nevaeh would go but I'm just saying they're talking about moving and all this stuff I, 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 I'm telling you they're making bad choices because they all they do is make bad choices some info about Kentucky and I just saw a random comment that I want to comment on no we are not either of us are not Italian <laughs> obvious who asked if you were Italian you dumbass hey look at have you seen her cook she would be excommunicated from Italy if anybody saw that spaghetti table. No. Are you Italian? No. We are not. <laughs> Although, wait, Deshaun got his... Yes, he did. He, he the, did. A lot of the kids wanted to do the 23andMe mm -hmm. like DNA test thing to see what their heritage is. And he was Italian, what, 20? He was 42% Irish. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I was <laughs> shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were shocked. Look at him. The Irish like their drink. And so, yeah, yeah. that's the 40% that popped that wine bottle earlier. Yeah. I don't know, he was Italian too, though. But okay, I shut your was. holes. Get to the shit. Actually, I don't know what shit they're tied. I don't even know. Maybe this is the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. <laughs> uh, what's my favorite food? I think my favorite food right now is either sushi or delicious lasagna. You meant the food, right? Okay, because that's probably gross too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to Lily. I keep some of that. Hi, Lily. Say, yeah. Lily, really? hi. Sushi is good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you guys are so interesting. So interesting. How I do last night. Some weeks it's like me and one kid, or some weeks it's me and three kids, but it's always like I get input from the kids. Your kids don't eat the shit you cook. So why are you lying? Why you gotta lie, liar? Um, uh, okay, my dog is trying to say hi. They can't see you, you're down there. Miracle's saying hi. But yeah, we make it as a family. Um, and then I add in, well, actually lately, my kids like sandwiches every day for lunch to pack every day. So that's easy. But lately I've been asking them what they want for breakfast because I'm kind of like bored of the same old breakfast. So I'll ask them what they want or I'll Google like um, breakfast ideas and come up with some, although I made bacon egg cups this week. I thought they were amazing. Did you try them? The bacon egg cups? No, I didn't. 
Nobody tried the militia because nobody eats your shit. Kids did not like them. That was, they were not a fan of bacon egg cups, which was the easiest thing. You just put the bacon in a muffin tin. And Why is Josh drinking out of a soda can when we heard him pop a wine bottle? So all that tells me is that he put wine in a Coke can. Okay. That's what it tells me. And that's, tells me that's what she probably put in her can too. Put an egg in it and bake it. It was so good because the egg is super salty from the bacon. But um, yeah, the kids did not care for that. They didn't care for something else this week that I made. Your attitude. <laughs> I was like, okay, why do I try and like make new things when a day in a life? Because you do it for content because you think that's what people want to see. But your kids, you, it's not helping your children. Uh, it, it's, it boggles the mind. That Alicia has so many adopted children, but still doesn't understand that structure and patterns matter. That shit is very important to children that come from chaos. So if you're changing it up every two days, every, every day you're doing something completely different, that is not good for children that come from chaos. You bring them into a world that is structured, something that they can anticipate, something that they see is coming. Okay, that is the whole idea. And she does. it's so crazy that she doesn't even see that. Not one little thing that she can do to make their lives a little bit better. Because she has to make content, because content is king. I vlog for Josh. I tell him, I tell him he should vlog. He's like, no, I'm boring. True. I am boring. <laughs> not exciting. I'd His vlog being, effing kids, eff off, effers! <laughs> That's what it would be, a whole vlog just swearing. It was it's probably another part of him is very Irish. Mm. Although it is exciting seeing me make the coffee. Yeah, he does make the coffee every day. I could show you that. And the dishes. And he does what dishes? It's paper and plastic. The dishes. Dishes? <laughs> a liar. Always. And the teenagers would be like, I have a five page essay due tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're bad parents because we don't know what our kids are doing. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> are you serious right now? Once you get you have, again, more structure. When you guys get home from school, your phones go on this thing, plug them in. It's homework time, folks. After dinner, if your homework is done, then you can have your device back or go play your video games, whatever you want to do. Homework first. Let me tell you, my mom didn't give a shit whether or not I did homework. Didn't care, couldn't help me if I even needed help. I didn't do any homework. I cannot believe I actually graduated high school with a 60%. Probably just wanted to get me out of there. But I'm telling you, I never once ever did homework in my life. Because I didn't have anybody pushing me. My kids, if they have homework, holy shit, you best believe you're getting 100% on anything you're doing. Right? If my kid gets a B plus on something I did for them, I'm really pissed. Just kidding. But my, you know, homework is really, really, really important. If you prioritize doing the things your kids need to do, that is something you're teaching them. So going forward, they're harder workers. They're more diligent. They get, they get better marks. Teachers like them more. There's so many positives to getting that shit done first, including the idea that this stuff is really important and you should do it. But they don't give two shits about anything because they're vlogging all the time. <laughs> get, get, we have get, uh, get. two dogs. We have a, um, I almost said Australian kettlebell. We have <laughs> a, ger we, a not a German Shepherd either. Right? Oh my God, Josh, we dumb. F1 Golden Doodle. Yes, thank you. And we have and a Golden, golden retriever. retriever. That's what I was trying yeah. to say. The retriever. F1 Golden Doodle yeah. we got from um, a therapy Ow. dog place. Yeah, a year ago. Love Michael. Appreciate yeah. you, Michael. What the hell is that? Um, and happy birthday, Finley, by the way. Our next so vacation, we might take like a little trip. We're trying, my brother like lives, do you like Taco Bell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, my brother lives in Washington, D.C., oh. right outside it. Biscuits and gravy casserole. We should. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy casserole. Send That's me awesome. that recipe on Instagram. This like fits our personality. It's like the ADHD. Like, boom, 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 boom. Like throwing a ping pong ball. Everything we would is going. like to get to see yeah. my brother in, in D.C. Yes. For like a weekend. They don't. Or so plan it. Dumbass, because Washington DC is amazing. I've got a couple friends out there I did some work for, and I went there and they took me, did the whole thing. It was incredible. Okay, Washington DC is amazing. I want to take my kids there actually. Um, my friends said I could stay with them because they have an indoor pool. Just like, yeah, hell yeah. Anyway, I got to remind me, I should take my kids to see Washington DC. Okay, they have a free weekend, we don't, because our kids are in sports and life's insane. But one of these weekends, we would like to get to D.C. to visit them. It's not far from them, too. What's D.C. like? Maybe a six-hour drive? I don't know. I don't care. We are also tentatively planning 
Las Vegas for our 20th wedding anniversary on the 4th of July. 20 years. 20 years Crazy. married, yeah. yeah. Um, have we ever done Japan for a round? He's like, 20 years? Oh. <laughs> You're the regret. Where am I? No, I don't think we have. Sushi, right? I know, we need to do... Yeah. 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 Story time. So my wife and I's first anniversary, which was like over 15 years ago, <laughs> we we didn't make a lot of money or anything like that, <laughs> and it's become a joke ever since. But we went to Red Lobster. <laughs> it's kind of a shame, but not really because like, you know we're, we're obviously we weren't doing anything crazy. Um, but our first year anniversary was kind of crazy. We went to Red Lobster, and now we're like, let's go to Red Lobster. I don't think we've actually even been to Red Lobster since. But I think on our fifth, 16 year anniversary, maybe I'll take a Red Lobster as a surprise. We don't really like Red Lobster, but. That was the, th- sorry for the shitty story. I'm going to do that this week. Like, Tuna? Greece. Yeah, she picked Greece. I think you got that confused, though. <laughs> the country from just little Greece that you put in the pan, okay? Greece isn't, Greece is a place. It's not like oil and shit that you make. It's, so we made it from country of Greece, and it's just a whole bunch of greases and some chicken and grease. It's greasy shit. No, you got that wrong, Alicia. <laughs> Yeah, so was fantastic. it was so good, but yeah. there were way too many peppers in it. There were way too much grease. Peppers in my stomach don't agree. Oh, I love that salad. That you and I was say really, yeah, really my that. stomach hurt yesterday, and I was like, "Why did I eat all of that? I know I can't eat." You didn't eat any of it, you damned liar. Eat peppers, but yeah, Dunkin' or Starbucks. I keep seeing that question. Dunkin', Dunkin'. Starbucks. Ah. Oh. Uh. Although, I only crave caramel macchiato once a while. Lately, I've been getting Tim Hortons. So, uh, yeah. Tim Hortons is ball sack. It's ball sack. Okay. It used to be good. The only thing good at Tim Hortons is I drink one. The only thing good at Tim Hortons is ice caps. It's the only thing that they haven't changed. Okay. That's the only thing Tim Hortons hasn't changed since they were bought by Burger King. Okay, an American company, they they literally will make the shittiest food. Have you ever tried to get a Boston cream from Tim Hortons? Okay. Take that shit out of the bag. All the chocolates stuck to the bag, those assholes. They got rid of walnut crunches. The best donut that ever existed, ever. Ask for a bagel toasted with cream cheese, and it's like put through a toaster at Mach 7, okay, with eight pounds of cream cheese on it. Or it's burnt crispy with like half a centimeter of cream cheese, okay? Tim Hortons is balls. Got me? But we still go there because it's Canadian. If I had my choice, though, of any place to get anything, I honestly prefer McDonald's iced coffee. Sugar-free vanilla iced coffee with an extra pump of sugar-free vanilla. Try it. Let me know what you think. I'm going I'm against the grain there. But I like Dr. Dog, too. Of course you do. It's all you eat. Literally <laughs> flowing <laughs> through your sound? veins. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, my gosh. Just leave it. I, I want to read them. Nah. Somebody said something. Just leave it. Just leave it. What'd you say? What'd they say? I want to know what they said. Hi. I can't wait to do the next live live with them. It's like, I'm going to be live watching their live commenting on their shit. It's going to be fun. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, I like, actually, I got Duncan tonight. Um, I Did you? Tonight? You drink coffee at night? You drink coffee at night? Tell me you don't sleep without telling me you don't sleep. Bone ape tit. Got um, frozen frozen coffee with caramel. That's my Friday treat I get for myself. <laughs> You're Friday. You drink shit like that every single day. Five liters. This woman probably drinks ten liters of coffee a week. I'm not even. And I'm not even joking. At least ten liters of coffee. Her heart is like help me. German shepherds. They are so. Uh, uh, I love gingers. They are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few of them, and I just love them. Um, I I have. I did it wrong. I did not mean to do that. I want to know a comment they skipped over. Leave it alone, Josh. Leave it. <laughs> What's a super chat? That's- I hate this. Okay, the laugh that Alicia does, where not there's no laughter in the eyes. You know when someone laughs, or like their eyes do this, they're like, <laughs> you know, when someone has a genuine laugh and there's tears. Yeah. When Alicia laughs, her eyes goes like this. <laughs> the, it's like you, t- you cut the bottom of her face off. This part's laughing. This part's not laughing. <laughs> 
It's weird, Alicia. Like, it's weird. Sounds interesting. <laughs> I can't give up. French vanilla, yes. Uh, it's that's gonna be when we fantastic. wanted to go to Washington, D.C., but that's when my brother's not going to be. Yeah. Just go anyway. Stay at his house. Home. Uh, Who cares? And we've been wanting to get he to. He doesn't want you to stay. <laughs> comes home. Somebody blew up our house. Is that Dog P? Great Wolf Lodge. They are like booked up. Ooh, T. Like, they're T. Because we need two. They were, oh, so they were supposed to go to Great Wolf Lodge a bunch of times, and the Great Wolf Lodge was commenting on their comments, and people started reaching out to Great Wolf Lodge. I reached out to Great Wolf Lodge. I said, hey, are you sponsoring family vloggers? And they told me they weren't. You remember that video? I did it. They didn't end up going. Maybe Great Wolf Lodge pulled that. Oh, T. Now she's like, it's booked. Solid. No, if you're getting sponsored, they would have made a space for you. So something went down. They're probably like, look, you guys, do your thing. But we're getting a ton of comments about this. We don't want to team up with you anymore. Sorry. We're not going to do that. Also, we heard about the hotel thing where you just throw the sheets in the hall full of pee. We don't want that. Thanks, though. Next. Rooms when we go to Great Wolf Lodge, and they have been completely booked. Like, we've not been able to get there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Maybe if you booked it in advance. I don't know. Just a thought. Um, hi, John. They, my prediction is they will never go to Great Wolf Lodge because Great Wolf Lodge will not sponsor them. That's my prediction. Uh, okay. Any, I don't know. How do I slow the comments? You guys have to tell me how. Yeah, can somebody tell us how to slow the comments? Because we can't. <laughs> just um, like Google like, it. There's oh, like, in the studio. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Auntie Laura. Oh, she's here. I'm not here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's not Auntie Lauren on here. It's True Blue, True Blue Laz. Did Lauren? That? Lauren might have done it. I don't know. Now it's going past you. <laughs> no, you would see. It would say slow chat on. <laughs> oh! Long Island. I see we have some people. Oh, Long Island. You say slay. Slay queen. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, hold it. Yes, holes. Hmm. Yes. Uh, the apples. I do need new breakfast ideas. Like, I... Just stop, because we know that your kids eat the pile of sugar cereal you buy. You buy hundreds of boxes of it. Just stop lying. How about that? Make your life a little bit easier. Here's what I'm making today. I can just put 10 boxes of cereal. Here we go. Then you're done. You don't need to make a 45 minute video every day, Alicia. It has to be like eight past eight minutes. And I don't think your monetization changes much past that. It's about retention. If people come to watch an eight minute video, they won't stay for an hour and a half video. I promise you that. And she knows that. She can see it. It does actually, you know what? I honestly don't believe that she can read her analytics. That's what I think. She doesn't even know how to do slow chat. I don't think she understands her back-end analytics. I don't think she gets it. Okay, so maybe she doesn't know. But if, she, if you look at the retention rate of the videos, my video, my longer ones don't get as much retention as my short ones. Just the way it is. It's just the way everything goes. There is a short attention span. Retention equals more money, though. That's for sure. So if you're making a 45-minute video every day or an hour and a half video, no one's watching that shit, man. My kids like the same things. They like on my Cereal. computers upstairs. So I'm guessing I'm not getting onto the studio. Just slow these down. Brecky. Wait, BTU is in here? Who's that? Yeah. Oh, hi, BTU. How are you? Hi. She is a blogger. Hey. Hi. Oh. Hi, Jay. Beat the universe is the blog. Um, Wait, Kentucky. <laughs> burp the um. Burp the umbilical. That's gross. <laughs> Santa Kentucky, yes. Banana chocolate uh, chip muffins. Banana the undercarriage. Ooh. That's how you make babies. Bitches that unite. <laughs> that was the first place we looked Outside at. Outside a little bit. No, that was the first place we looked at, but then we were looking at a different place. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we were looking at horse ranches. Anyways. In Kentucky. Yeah. Ranches. How much are ranches in Kentucky? Let's take a look, see here, how we? Must have AC, must have a pool. Let's do that. Ranch. Apply. All right, there's a couple. 865,000 and that one has four bedrooms. So they're, okay, well they're gonna need more bedrooms than that. They're gonna need, let's say six, pl five plus bedrooms and four plus bathrooms. So let me go back to this and take out ranch. There's only like three in the entire state that would fit their family. $2.5 million. Damn, that's a nice property though. Let's be real. Holy shit, that's expensive. Here we go, 875,000 for this? That's only 875,000? 
Damn, man. Damn, I want to move to Kentucky now. Damn, look at that lawn. This is my midlife crisis right now going on, not going to lie. Lexington, 1.8 million. Oh, shit. That one is six bed, six bath. They could probably fit in there. It's got a pool. Okay, here's what I do. I'm going to take away pool. That's what I'm going to do. 1.45 million, five bed, five bath. So here's a seven bedroom one. They could do this. It's almost a million. Yeah, it's a little dated. It's nice. Ooh, 6.5 million. Let's look at that one. Holy shit balls, man. Good lord. That's a... It's got a farting vault in it. Oh, there's a licious dream right there, Poe. What are they... What is that? Paint? Is that food? Oh, it's a prepper's house. That's cool. Damn, I love dude. I love looking at houses, guys. Anyway, sorry, let's get back to this video. It's got to be a two-parter. I'm not even a quarter of the way through this yet. And they were beautiful. Pakistan, I don't believe we've done for a round the world night. Don't. Hi, Gracie. Don't. Right on. Um, it's around the world, dumbass. Not around the states. I don't even think I've ever done a YouTube live with chat. To be honest with you. Is this a YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, this is. I thought it was my space. This is YouTube. Oh, that's we why it's We did so not paint the kitchen yet. Uh, we're waiting until we're gone for like a weekend. Lexington. Lexington. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We that were. Was it, yeah. Outside Lexington. Yeah. Damn. We're waiting until we're gone for a weekend so they can paint the kitchen when we're not here and in their way because it's very hard to not use your kitchen for a couple days when you're living in your house. All you guys do is eat prepackaged shit that you can microwave. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. So thank you, Aussie Galley. And paper plates and forks and shit. So just, I don't know, you can do it. I believe in you. So, so we up, keep trying to like- What up, girl? Did you hear <laughs> What up, girl? Your wife's right there. If I ever... Okay. Like, my wife doesn't mind if I stare at a girl at a mall or something that's pretty, and I'm like, hey, that's a hot girl, or she's like, that's a hot guy. That's fine. But if I were to, like, walk up to a girl with my wife, be like, what up, girl? My wife would be... Like, my wife would be... She'd be looking at me like, what? Or later, she'd be like, what? what? <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Why? I don't know. Figure out how to get away for a weekend. <laughs> what up, girl? <laughs> but it's going to be a... Lighter, lighter, lighter shade of the hallway. It's like a very yellow, very peachy. Orangey. Ew! Don't white man. Orangey light. Ew! Orange. Of course yeah. you pick shitty colors. Orange is my favorite, so obviously. Uh, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. facility, but that fell through. Yeah. So she always everything falls through all the time. Interesting that. I know sometimes I say like, oh, we're taking a trip such and such to so and then you don't so and so place and then we don't take that trip because to be honest, I'm they just fall through and that's beyond me. Is it beyond you? Okay. Okay. Hey Wait, we've already been to Texas. Um Texas, yes, we did Texas. Yeah, two years ago. I was it two years ago already. What a burger. Yeah. Yeah, it was two years yeah the kids have been wanting to get back to Texas yeah. too. See their grand Okay. Yeah. She's a granddad. I thought you were going to say Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Yeah, that's where his dad and sister, brother-in-law, and nephews live in Katy, Texas. So. Don't tell people where your family lives yet. You guys are stupid. Mm -hmm. We went there for a week, I think. We to, well, what was that amazing water park? It was so cool. Uh, anyways, typhoon, really typhoon Lagoon. No, Typhoon, Texas Typhoon. Texas, Texas Typhoon. typhoon. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. We okay. went there for okay. Patrick's birthday. He just sniffed his fingers again after scratching his balls. Like, I'm not joking. Watch. Watch. We watch closely. To... What was that? Typhoon watch, watch, watch. Lagoon. No, Typhoon, Texas Typhoon. Texas, Texas typhoon. typhoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. We okay. went there for okay. Patrick's birthday. Sorry, it wasn't his balls, it was his armpit. He smelled his armpit. He went like this and went. Birthday because we happen to be there in the summer, which is when Patrick's birthday is. So we took his cousins and we went to the water park. It was so fun. Alaska. ADD. I've never been to Alaska. This is me. This is me listening in class. South Carolina. My dad grew up in Ohio. Holy shit. I originally shit. was supposed to go to Bowling Green University in Ohio. 
That fell through. I mean, <laughs> she's like Jen Psaki. I'll circle back. Everything fell through, including your thumbs. You don't get the same Sean Fisher and that fell through. Uh-huh, Explain how shit falls through. Cause you're bad at everything. Stuck with this guy. No, I met him. No, he. I thought it was text. Important. No. Uh, We're waiting for Deshaun to text us because he's at the mall. No, this go shot. No, he already told me. You time. said your kids are in bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're outside. Cedar Point. We've been to Cedar Point. Alyssa's been to Mexico. I haven't. Uh, we have not. Imagine her in Mexico. <laughs> she burnt crispy. I've been to Cedar Point since before we had kids. Yeah, we're so, gonna go. Remember, we're gonna go, and then we'll yeah, see. it fell through. <laughs> Let me hear it. We're go, we're on our road so trip, but everyone said don't yeah. go. It was right after the pandemic, and everyone said Cedar Point was a mess, and that there was like two rides open, and that the lines were eight hours long. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> The eyes don't change. Yeah, I am. I am not gonna take ten. At the time, we had ten kids. I'm not <coughs> gonna take ten kids to that. No, no, and nothing to get. Take ten kids anywhere. To your point. I think if you have this big of a family, you're just gonna be relegated to like renting a nice Airbnb somewhere on a beach. Let your kids go swimming. Go out for dinner once in a blue. You, you just can't take ten children to a freaking theme park. It's just. It's just not gonna work. Like if you're wealthy, then yeah, you get all the fast passes and shit. Like sure, I get that, but damn. You're gonna lose one of them at least. Because it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it's changed we'll get now. Back there. It was just at that point. Yeah, in time, at that, that point. Specific time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just saw something that made me think of a question, and I forgot it already because it's going okay. way too fast. Yes, so. this is my natural hair color. Um, that I believe. Almost. <laughs> so somebody said, "Yes, yes, yes, we love that." Yes. My brother used to live in Boston for a while. Boston. We see a lot of places. I know we had a couple, you, of, couple of beers there. Yeah. This is when we were way younger and no kids. Yeah. Um, and uh, we went to the movies and we've taken the train. It's just. And we went to another city, went to the movies. Okay. Boston's amazing. So. My rule is if I go to a new city somewhere and they have the same restaurants I can get at home, I will not go there. The whole point is to enjoy something new. Right? Okay. It's just amazing. The- uh, and I'm a history yeah. person, and I just love the history. I would love it. to get the kids there someday. Um, okay. Yeah, but it'll fall through, I bet. Milkshakes or whatever they were, I'm pretty sure it was just. Oh, that's right. Remember? Just like you could barely suck it through the straw. Smoothies. Oh, it was like gosh, a Hershey bar in a smoothie. Uh, um, we went on that little ride where you tell it tells you about the history. It was really neat. I would like to get down there. And you learn, I don't know. Shut up! <laughs> Melbourne. Hi from Melbourne. It was adorable. But yeah, that is the last time I've been to San Francisco, and that was 10 years ago. I'm hoping you surprise me with a trip to California wine country. Oh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> hoping we can go place to drink. Just surprise me with a drinking trip. Booze cruise is fine. Oh. Yeah. That was not on my list of things to do, but <laughs> I've never I do. been. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I love one. I, I know. I feel bad. Yes, we know. We heard you open one at the beginning. Because I have done the whole California yeah. wine thing. And now you have a DD, so. Oh, shut your hole, you damned liar. Or she's saying Dr. D doesn't. She's saying Designated Driver. No, I, you know, because I stopped drinking. Wink! Again. <laughs> Oh, that's such a liar. you're we, such a liar, Alicia. And it's gonna come out eventually. Like that's gonna come out. We have been to Toledo, Ohio, and Perrysburg, Ohio, because I have family there, and we've been to Cleveland, Ohio, because I have family there. Um, who wants to go to Ohio? Okay. Georgia. I've been to Youngstown. It's actually beautiful. No, we've not done yeah, we've Georgia. Been. Well, we've been to Georgia. Yeah. Remember when we stopped for lunch in Georgia. Through it, yeah. <laughs> when we were traveling. <laughs> All right, I keep seeing this. Yeah, yeah, we want to slow down, please. We don't know how. Um, <laughs> yeah, go, go! I keep seeing this. My favorite, <laughs> so my favorite drink, probably my favorite drink is coffee. It's not. It's something with booze in it. It's pretty pouring. Um, Would you liar? <laughs> we are going to do Las Vegas. 
Yeah, of course you are. Most likely this summer we're going to do this. Yeah. Thing. I don't know Josh can survive Vegas, man. I don't think he's going to come out on the other side. Las Vegas. Hopefully in July. Yeah. It's a point taking 12 kids to Las Vegas. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to stay in the... Please, somebody saying for the love of God, I know. slow it down. I, they can't slow it down, assholes. Um, How many cups of coffee do I drink a day? I drink two of my tumbler things. And those are a liter and a half each. Yeah. But I fill it with ice, and then I fill it like that much with creamer, so... That much? I don't know. Holy shit, lady! Not like all We probably, coffee. well, we, you and I drink 14 cups a day. So whatever that is. Um, 14 cups of coffee a day. People asking about the... Oh, between them. So seven cups each. That's still a lot. Top ban. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen with that. And I, like, I could be completely wrong, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like, that's just, I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. I read read the articles about it today. And... Um, Oh, it's going to happen. About grilling, though. Mm Mm-hmm. The, the it's gonna happen. You know why it's gonna happen? Because Mark Zuckerberg lobbied them, and he's like one of the richest dudes in the world. That's his competition. He lobbied successfully. TikTok. I mean, maybe not for a while, but this is the closest we're gonna get to the ban. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. And when it does, it's cake time. We're going live. CEO and. And honestly, like, if it happens. I just think everybody will come over to YouTube. Like, I don't think it's... I don't think it's going to happen, but... It's hopefully going to happen. If it does happen, oh! like, I think there are so many other platforms that people can meet up again with each other um, that it's, like, not going to be a huge, huge thing. You're not going to like the YouTube platform. It's not conducive to the shit that you do. So, yes! Love it. Now you're in my world, Grandma. Check with the name tag. And I think I think we have to take a neutral stance on this, and in, in that yeah. in saying that our government has its concerns, mm-hmm. and the people have their rights, and whatever people decide is is what the decision it's, is. Yeah, like that's we the thing. That, it's one of those so. things that's out of our mm-hmm. control. Um, mm-hmm. So it is what it is, and yeah. I guess she doesn't care very much because she doesn't like. They have almost six million subscribers, and it's decent. But the money they, the big money that like, I know they get ad sponsorships and stuff. And they get big money from those, but they don't do a lot of them. Okay, TikTok doesn't pay them a lot of money. YouTube pays them the most money that they make on anything. So they don't really care, but it will literally eliminate their biggest platform with their biggest amount of views. Just roll with it. If it's about safety, then we support it. Mm. So. Oh, really? That's interesting. But not the safety of your kids, though. Okay, cool. Got it. It's it's whatever. I, the I really, like. really, really hope it's not banned. Yeah. I, love, I hope it is. I love TikTok. I, it's fun, and it's where I go when I want to just, like, zone out on... Um, silly little videos and how do you have time to go zone out you have 12 kids to take care of and you have full-time social media and then you you admit on camera that you also just go there for fun wow i don't think you meant to do that but thank you Yeah, chill. Yes, we've been to RIT. Yeah. Um, we stayed with Michael Quintock for a while. Uh, South Saratoga Springs, New York. Yes, I used to drive there. And last summer, we didn't go because, like, the gas prices <laughs> it fell through. Prices were insane, and we. Why do you give a shit about gas prices? You go to r- grocery stores, the most expensive grocery store in probably your state. You don't even look at prices. You buy six to seven carts full of shit. And you're worried about gas prices? Come on, Alicia. Be real. Looked at each other, we're like, do we really want to spend this much money on gas to spend all day in a van? <laughs> what? Like, let's skip it this year. Yeah. So we didn't do the- It fell through. Road trip last year. Yeah, what was that? Like? RV travel, yes. That we is, talked about that. That is what, not like full time. I could never, never do it full time. No. You guys can't travel in an RV and here's why. You have 14 people. Okay, there is RV. There's an RV family. I think it's called, I forget what it is. Some just went, she just posted. I was going to talk about it soon, but she's like, one of my kids is not going to be on here anymore and all this shit. And somebody is conjecturing that one of these kids is the one that's making a lot of these AMAs and reaching out to some of these company, uh, to some of these people for articles. You, I'm sorry. And I know a lot, I just does, I get pushback for this comment, 
but you should not raise a family in an RV. I'm, I know some people say, well, I raise kids in a tiny two bedroom apartment, and everything else, but at least they have a space, a bedroom ceiling that's higher than a foot. You know, they have privacy. If you have teenagers, you shouldn't live in an RV. I'm sorry, unless you have a $500,000 RV when they have their own bedroom or something, maybe. There are RVs that are huge. I get that. And it's a little bit different. But just for the idea of structure and like not having friends and moving around all the time. Anybody that you see on YouTube and everybody has RV channels, that's just for the money. That's that's exploitation of the children. But it's also just, hey, we're doing this because that's how we make money. I don't think it's good for families to be in an RV. That's all I'm saying. To travel for a summer, cool. I get that. But for their entire life? I'm against it. Plus, there's no way these guys would be able to have one big enough to house their entire family. It would be impossible. So don't do that. I'm like, I'm fascinated watching the full-time RV channels. I think, yeah, I think those are fascinating. Where are you going to put your kids to sleep? The biggest RV maybe sleeps 12 people not comfortably. Okay, you got children that are the size of grown adults or bigger. Where are they going to sleep? You know, tents? What are you going to do? Don't. Plus, your kids are like five star. They're not going to want to do that. But Niagara Falls, that's where we were thinking of going. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. We don't want you. Okay. Stay on your side, the shitty side of Niagara Falls, Buffalo. Okay. That side's garbage. Somebody said Disney Cruise. I've heard a lot of good things about Disney Cruise. A lot Cruises. of people are doing those lately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I think, They're good. I think the kids have been wanting to do that, too. It'll fall through. I mean, if they she took her family. I know it stuck to me and my family on cruise. Okay. <laughs> Imagine 14 people. Going, That's going to cost them thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. I'm nervous to do a cruise because I feel like with 12 kids, the chances that one of our kids gets massively seasick mm. on a cruise. <laughs> Funny. But statistically speaking, oh! Oh! likes to sleep on cruises. Cruises so. just put me to sleep. Yeah. It's, that's because you're drunk the whole time. I cruise once and that's all you I slept sleep. the whole time. Yeah. It was so relaxing. I just couldn't even fully wake up. But I'm a mover. That's okay. <laughs> you slept the whole time on the cruise? Okay, wait, Claude. Yeah, and he was, yeah, so, we're uh, total opposites on vacation. Totally nice, Legoland, yeah. we'd like to get to, do we plan to have more kids? No. No, please don't. No, it's not possible. <laughs> Can we say something about retirement? Yes, I will be retiring in 12 years. 12? Yeah. yeah, I don't uh, know what we will, I don't know. He wants to move away when we retire. I just, no, I don't know. No, I just want to go someplace during the winter oh, where yeah. I can play golf. Yep. You're going to frickin' Kentucky. That's my dream. Retire and play golf because I the kids are my life right now, so golf is not in my life right now. Are so. they? We did not go to golf. Because it's just exhausting. It is. It's exhausting, and the kids yeah. get just burnt out by so by many, the yelling. many different things, like touristy things. Yeah. Probably their favorite. Maybe it's just not for you then. You ever given that thought? You don't have to do things. If your family gets burnt out by traveling then it's probably not smart. Maybe that's just not in your stars. That is a thing, people. You don't have to do things. Other things you can do, right? If, if your kids enjoy just relaxing, then just go stay at a resort somewhere where they can just go swimming if they want or go for a walk or just eat copious amounts of dessert, whatever, okay? Maybe your thing isn't the thing that pisses your kids off and tires them out. How is that good memories for anybody? I know I get that. And some people are like, oh, we want to see this stuff, but maybe wait till they're older. I don't know. It feels like they force so many things on these kids that the kids don't even enjoy, man, for for content. Thing which wasn't even on our original itinerary was yeah. we plan on adopting another kid, not at the moment, but when our kids like age and start moving out, they're not going. And anywhere. there's more room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will we will re readdress that question. Mm, don't. I hope adoption agencies don't. Josh's face, look at his face, like, we're not. Please don't. You know, he doesn't want to. Can we follow a plan of faith? It's, we, it's yeah. whatever's, oh, do whatever's. you? Does your plan of faith include uh, exploitation of children? Hmm. What's your plan of faith? Well, we like to exploit children for monetary gain. God's like, I, I just, where do you, I didn't put that anywhere in the Bible or anything. I don't know where you're seeing that. Want to just give me a scripture for that? Okay. I don't, I, I just don't remember. That's God. 
whatever is put in front of us at the point in time we have to make a decision about and and really think about um how we can help that yeah like i believe what if god puts something in our path we're supposed to say yes and that's how we have this crazy life with sure. 12 kids i i get offended when people like this proclaim that god is in their life when it's so clearly evident that he is not. I, and that's what's wrong with the church, that these types of assholes go there and are the most vocal about it. That's the problem, everybody. That's why Hillsong got to do what it got to do. So F off with this bullshit. Um, yeah, we're just, yeah, we say yes to the crazy things that get put in front of us. Yeah. Wouldn't you if you're making millions of dollars a year? Mm -hmm. Again, they're sitting there saying, we do this because it's out of the kindness of our heart. Yeah, exactly. You made it, you, it became your actual careers that you make millions of dollars on. So I hope not. Yeah, so we've been in Alabama, we've been to Tuscaloosa. We spent a night in Tuscaloosa and it was fantastic. Yeah, it was a great, loved it. Great yeah. time, great place. Oh my really? God, this chat is garbage. Yeah, really? Have you guys ever been to McDonald's? It's delicious. What about Mordor? Have you been to Mordor? There's a ring in the pit of fear. Be nice. Remember that was like, and Little Rock, Tuscaloosa. Arkansas. Have you been to Hogwarts? Russ, Nicest Rock, people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you saying I seem like a nice person. <laughs> I like to think that I am, but everybody has their own opinion. <laughs> Here's my opinion. You're a dick. <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you. In video games. Yes, yeah, Glacier stop. National Park, right on. Uh, oh my God. Okay, stop. All right, everybody. Sorry, we got this. Got to be a two-parter. I'm only halfway through. There's so much more snark to be had. I can't wait to snark. Let's just get back to it tomorrow, okay? Take a deep breath with me. <sighs> Breathe in it all and exhale the bullshit. <sighs> Alicia, you guys are a bunch of dinkles, but I like snarking on the regular shit because it's just they're bad at this. They're bad, and we heard you open that wine. When is wine? That's Josh's little thing. Why do they lie so much? Still to this day, they can't help but lie. Everything that they do is trying to be all, oh, we're just doing this natural live, but everything inside this live is like, she has to shape this conversation about what's going on around her and all the videos that are being made. It's kind of crazy to watch, actually. So, anyway, but thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for snarking with me, having some fun, laughing with me. We're going to laugh some more tomorrow. We need more laughter in our lives, right? We do. You guys are amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. Maybe forgive someone in your life you need to forgive. Don't fly flare or American air. And I will see you tomorrow.